Hey guys, quick video on fortresses and blaze fights. The fortress has two halves, the chest hallways with a roof, and the outside area with blaze spawners, so we want to be in the outside area. If you're in the hallways, if you go down and straight at the nether wart stairs, straight at these balconies, and up these narrow stairs, you'll be led to the lava well room and the outside area. The fortress starts and branches out from a semi-random four-way intersection like this. It's better to try and be near the start of the fortress when finding spawners, as the spawners can start generating instantly. Basically in practice it's best to be where the fortress starts rather than the far outskirts. There isn't a lot of strategy to finding the fortress start, but you can go down these stairs and generally look to where there's many intersections. Spawners have some complicated mechanics, but simple solutions. Ideally the spawner has four blocks mined out in each direction like this, with two blocks above it and one block below it all mined out. But this takes a long time, so we can use a bed to open up a large area. Place the bed in a way so that the pillow is above a block of blast resistance 3 and above, and this will safely break a lot of blocks without breaking the spawner. In open spawners you can start to lose blazes and rods, so place a floor or use a fishing rod to keep them at your level. Elevating the bed one more block will open up even more area. This mod shows a green or blue dot for each possible blaze spawning space. As you can see, this totally unmined spawner has a very low amount of spawning spaces, compared to this very open spawner. The red dots indicate spots where a possible spawning spot has been interrupted by something, like a block or entity. The player interrupts in spawning spaces as well, so stay away from the spawner when you can. Blazers are far more likely to spawn near the spawner than far, as visualized by the green dots near and the blue dots far. You're majorly rewarded for clearing out the entire spawner. As you can see, we go from 2% to 25% to get 7 rods in under a minute. However, it's more important to clear out a large area than just clear out around the spawner. If I clear out these front 6 blocks, I'm able to go from 2.13% to 3.02%. But if I clear out these 7 blocks around the spawner, I go from 2.13% to only 2.83%. This should teach you that minimizing the amount of red spots is more important than just mining blocks next to the spawner. You can also use TNT to open up the spawner. Just place a blast resistant block between the spawner and the TNT. If you want to have two TNT diagonal to each other, make sure to place a block diagonal to each of the TNT. To open up the whole spawner, build a ring around the spawner, and one TNT in each direction. This has the benefit over blaze bedding, as you don't have to clear any fires from the bed. If you want to mess around with this, the mod is in the description. Blazers can be killed with two crits from either a wood or gold axe or with one crit and one normal hit from any other axe. When using fire rares, blazers can only deal damage by meleeing you. When using a shield, fireballs will be blocked if they hit anything below your head or so. Because of this, you want to be level with or above the blazers so every fireball hits the shield instead of you. Otherwise, you can still get hit by a fireball. Melee damage is blocked by a shield however, which can be used to your advantage to court them around as they move towards you when trying to melee. If you have no shield or fire res, I recommend placing 4 blocks against the bricks like this, and then mining out these 2 blocks. Then to bait out fireballs, jump behind the barrier in their line of sight. Blazers have a number of phases. When they spawn, they're in a neutral phase. But once they see the player, they start charging their fireball phase. After a couple of seconds when it's charged, it shoots three fireballs total at you, as long as it has clear line of sight. When it's finished the three fireballs, the blaze goes into a short recovery phase where it can't fireball or melee, so you can safely stand next to them. In its neutral phase, blazes seem to pathfind to the highest block near it. This hasn't been utilized as a strategy yet, but you can observe blazes climbing stairs or escaping through caves when the player isn't occupying it. Warped forests and soul sand valleys have odd spawning mechanics to limit the amount of mobs that can spawn in them, like ghasts, skeletons, and endermen. 
Fortresses don't follow this behavior, so if one exists in one of those biomes, the amount of stray fortress mobs like blazes and wither skeletons are typically far higher than other biomes fortresses. This behavior can be manipulated even further if we drop our render distance to 4 or 5. You'll see very quickly the fortress fill up with stray mobs. This can also be done in other biomes fortresses, but with a weaker effect. If you're lucky enough, you can skip spawners altogether, just like in Brentilda's 936, but usually you should be able to get at least some rods from strays alone if you employ this strategy well enough, which can save a lot of time from waiting for a spawner to spawn blazes. To deal with wither skeletons, go to the edge of a bridge and pillar up three blocks, then crouch over the side and punch them off. If they get stuck in a corner, just break the block in front of them. You can also use flint and steel to knock them off. Just place fire in the middle of a bridge and then sprint with them off. To find a fortress, hold shift and press F3. Then at the bottom right of your screen, press the number next to tick, then level, entities, then block entities. Drop your render distance down to two. Refresh the pie chart by closing it with F3 and reopening it. Hold F3 and press F one at a time until the blue mob spawner loads in. Once it loads in, drop your render distance down to 2 again. And check your in-game chat to see what distance the spawner was. After you've set your render distance to 2, set your render distance to 1 less than the distance of the fortress. So in this case, 9. Refresh the pie chart again. If the spawner is still visible on the pie chart, then drop down to 2 render distance again and subtract 1 from the distance a second time, and repeat that until the spawner is no longer visible on the pie chart. Then hold F3 and press G, this will open the chunk borders. Remember what chunk you're starting at, then cross each chunk border until the spawner loads in again. Then, you know it's that direction and the chunk distance away from you. In this case, my chunk x was negative 21, and the spawner loaded in as I crossed the positive x chunk border, so I know I need to travel 10 chunks positive x from the chunk that I started at. So x chunk minus 21 plus 10 chunks means I should go to x chunk minus 11. So if I travel to chunk x minus 11, I should be able to find a fortress. Check out my other videos on Minecraft speedrunning and subscribe for more.